Hey guys, Fred here, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. And I'm happy to say that I was able to do the firmware upgrade of the Zygu X5105 using the cable here that was provided with the XPA125 amplifier that came. I believe that Zygu is currently making cables for this radio to go into the CIV port on the side of the radio uh, so that the modifications can be done using uh, some of the firmware that they have supplied as well as various drivers and other utilities to uh, be able to upgrade the radio with any new firmware. Uh, what I do want to add though is that they are using a program called Hyper Terminal. Uh, the Hyper Term file is here is all in Chinese. Um, it's difficult to navigate through even with all the paperwork here and all the instructions I did print everything out uh, since I didn't have another computer that I could use because I am using my Windows 7 uh, little netbook here and it seemed to work okay uh, not okay it did work fine uh, to do the firmware upgrade after I was able to uh, disconnect and reconnect it found the radio right away and even the driver for the USB serial port for this cable uh, it connected to COM port 3 without any issue whatsoever so it did work and what I want to do is I just want to go through with you guys uh, what I did uh, to get it to go uh, and to be able to upgrade the radio itself now there is a, a note here, uh, there's a bunch of notes about firmware update instructions that uh, are on the Zygu uh, X108, X5105 um, Facebook page. I uploaded all this information that you see here uh, last week and I just got around to doing it today. Uh, but it just talks about the USB driver, how to find it and go through and then what to change uh, once the configuration uh, has been done and how to change it and if we look here it shows a couple of different batches and the X0300001 is the radio in which I have uh, so obviously there were like 150 radios made in the first batch um, and they've got some more coming out in the second batch but it does talk about a menu setting here to go through the menu and what I can tell you is that things have changed in the radio drastically uh, even the menu uh, to look at the menu uh, has changed so um, one thing that I did do though is I did go and I found a hyper terminal uh, program that is in English um, it's a 30 day uh, trial um, program uh, but for now it does a trick for what is required uh, at least you know to do the to do the uh, change here um, to the radio it is more than adequate to use at this present time I don't really expect to have to use it um, anytime you know unless they come up with another update here shortly but it is the Hyper Terminal Private Edition. Let me just load it up here for you guys. Uh, Private Edition. Right here. It tells you that there's 29 days left. I don't want to register it because I'm not paying for it. Now, I read today that you can strip Hyper Terminal, the old Hyper Terminal that used to come with, um, and this is by Hillgreave. Out of Michigan I did read today that there you are able to and you can strip um, hyper terminal from an older uh, XP or Vista uh, computer 
and that you should be able to run it on the Windows 7 once it's installed. I did not try that. I just downloaded the the uh, free 30-day uh, version. Uh, once I get familiar with all the menus up top here and where they are and what they do, you know, the file, edit, view, call, transfer, and help menus uh, that are written in Chinese in the Chinese version, it definitely will be much easier to do. Uh, but for now, uh, this is what I'm using, and uh, it worked flawlessly to do the uh, firmware upgrade to the uh, X1 or X5105. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you guys through what I did and how I did it, and uh, we'll take you step by step, or the best that we can do to go step by step to do the firmware upgrade here on this radio. Hey guys, Fred here of E3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. Um, as I said to you, I was going to try and walk you guys through the firmware update for the Zygu 5105. So this morning what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you guys what I've done the best that I can here um, and go through following the actual instructions that you can print and things that you need to do um, once it's done. So in the preparations it says uh, before proceeding with firmware upgrade uh, please prepare the following items an external DC power supply the voltage is set at 13.8 volts a USB data cable uh, once again uh, this is the data cable here that uh, we were supplied I believe uh, they are supplying cables to all those who bought the 5105 hyper terminal software um, and it just says here, upgrading the firmware will reset the person personality setting parameters of the system menu. So in this new firmware, uh, of course, there's a place where you can put in your call sign. So when you turn the radio off, your call sign's on the screen. Um, at the same time, if you had any CW memories in there, uh, they've been wiped out. And you have to re-enter that stuff after this firmware upgrade. Um, that says firmware upgrade step find the USB serial port driver. I've already installed the driver. Um, all the files I downloaded are in a file here, if I can find it on my computer, in a separate file uh, for me to uh, to get at. Um, I'll switch over to the computer that I actually did the upgrade on here in just a second and to boot up. Um, but what, says, what it does say to do is find the USB to serial port driver. As soon as I plug that driver in or that cord into my computer here, uh, it worked flawlessly without any issues. Um, I, all I did was uh, went into uh, system device menu, found it, um, went out. I can't remember if I turned the computer back on or off to reset it. And it was like literally there on COM port 3. So again, what it says to do is uh, here on the desktop, I do have the firmware update. And I apologize for the distance between the camera and here, but it's hard to do it all and be able to show you guys close up uh, as it goes. So I do have here a folder that says firmware update and in that folder I have the hyper terminal that uh, is in Chinese. The USB to serial port driver is here uh, which is the driver I did the installation on there. Let's see if I can get you in at least to the computer here a little bit closer. I don't know just so you can see. All right. So all that is in here in this folder. Uh, we've got a firmware update operation guide, which is what I've printed. Um, and we have the build, which is the firmware that goes in and the firmware description um, at the same time. So what it says to do obviously is to insert the cord and don't insert the cord into the radio at this point in time. I'm gonna turn the radio off because the radio should be in the off state uh, before we do this. It says here uh, USB driver is not recognized. Uh, we'll give it a minute because it did recognize it the other day. So this is kind of good that this happens. Let me just try this again because I've got to make sure I'm in the right port. All right. So let me go into control panel. All right, so we're gonna go into here. This computer is extremely slow. Uh, we're going to go into system, where is it here? Uh, device manager. Okay, we're going to go to 
ports. And we can see that it is here. So it did see the uh, driver. So the driver. Okay, right, guys, this is take three. The battery died on the camera. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up the radio to hyper terminal. I have hyper terminal open. I am, however, going to make a new connection. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the cable, the CIV cable, into the radio. Once we've done that, I'm going to turn the power on or put the power on in here. Um, we're going to make the connection here first off. Let's just do this part. All right, we're going to do this part. So here, we're going to give it a name. It's going to be X5105. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Okay, and it's going to use COM port 5, which came up automatically. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to set the parity or the bits per second to 115,200. Everything else stays the same. We're going to hit apply, then hit OK. Uh, it says it's unable to open COM port 5. Please check COM port settings. But let's just see what happens here once we turn the power on and do what we have to do. All right, so holding the uh, buttons here, sorry the up down button or volume up down button we're going to insert our power we see the lights come on showing data once that happens then we hit the space bar on the software all right so let's just go back here to the connection open x5105 open uh, do you want to save a connection? No. Alright. COM port 5. Let's try this way. Configure COM port 5. 115.2. Apply. OK. OK. And it came up. It, it's strange each and every time how it happens. I, I apologize for that, but... I guess this is the roundabout process to do it. Then what it says to do is to hit number one. What it's going to do now is it's going to erase everything that's in the radio. All right, so it's going through the erase process here right now. Application flash, erase, okay. So it has erased it. Then what it says to do is we want to transfer. So we go to transfer, we're going to send a file that XPG file here, that uh, or XGF file, I should say, for the firmware version. We click on that. We hit open. And then what we do is we hit send. Once we hit send, it's going to send the data. The radio is flashing, saying that it's accepting the data. The file is 396K. Uh, we're at just shy of 100K right now on the computer. All right, we're going to let the computer do its thing. It takes about uh, 45 seconds or so, 39 to 45 seconds <coughs> for it to do its thing. All right, so we're almost three quarters of the way there right now. Okay, 320. All right, we're still flashing here. All right, it says the transfer has indeed finished. We can see that the lights went out on the radio. Then what it says to do is we are just going to close the folder here once we unplug the CIV cable. We'll close the folder, close up our current connection. Then what it says to do is turn on the radio. Once you turn on the radio, it comes up. We can then go to version here. And it shows us that we have indeed loaded uh, version 1.0.03, which was made on October 23rd, 2017 at 2027.55. The upgrade is now complete. So it just takes a little bit of uh, juggling through the program here, through the hyper terminal, 
to make sure you have the connection, make sure you have the COM port set up. Uh, but that's just a quick uh, show. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a message. Uh, email me at uh, ve3fal at tbaytel.net um, or through uh, YouTube. And we'll see if we can't help you. Or the uh, Zygu uh, Facebook page as well. Uh, you can get a hold of me there. So thanks for watching. This is Fred, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. 7-3, guys.